today on Running to Him. We must allow Christ to raise us up out of the sin that is surrounding us through our confession of our sin. Today's reading is Micah 7. We will concentrate on verses 7 through 9. Micah 7, 7 through 9 says, But as for me, I will watch expectantly for the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Do not rejoice over me, my enemy. I will fall, and I will rise. Though I dwell in darkness, the Lord is a light for me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him, until he pleads my case and executes justice for me. He will bring me out to the light, and I will seek his righteousness. Now Micah begins chapter 7 with a description of the world that surrounds him. The world is a world of evil, with unrighteousness at any turn. How can someone trying to live a righteous life exist in that kind of environment? That's the question we must answer in our world. Evil surrounds us at every turn. Even though we once thought it was safe from massive corruption, our judicial system is infected with partisan bias. Governmental policy is now determined by the political affiliation of the judges rather than law. Chief Justice John Roberts of the United States Supreme Court recently penned an opinion in which he writes, Decisional independence is essential to due process. Promoting impartial decision-making, free from political or other extraneous influence, said Roberts, is of equal importance. The judiciary's power to manage its internal affairs insulates the courts from inappropriate political influence and is crucial in preserving public trust in his works as a separate and co-equal branch of government. The fact that he had to write this article shows us that he, along with others, believes that the judicial system and its impartiality is coming into question. Micah then reflects on what God is doing and will do in his life. From verse 7 to the end of the chapter, the knowledge we receive should encourage us to look at righteousness even when surrounded by evil. Even though we sometimes become trapped in sin, God is willing to bring us out of the mire, to cleanse us, and to place us back into the path of holiness. God's action helps us to overcome those struggles which so easily entangle us. Paul writes in Hebrews 12, 1 through 2, Therefore, since we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising his name, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. We need to focus on Christ to help us overcome our struggles, to be raised by him ultimately. The resurrection icon shows Christ standing on the gates of hell, having defeated them and grabbing the wrists of Adam and Eve, drawing them to himself. We must allow Christ to raise us up out of the sin surrounding us through our confession of that sin. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.